Hello everybody. For the past few days I have been using the Ubuntu Skylin 22.04 and here today I'm going to share my experiences with this operating system. So there are a few changes in the start menu that I find uh, very interesting. That is you can now arrange everything according to all letter or function which is very much handy and this animations that they have done as you click and uh, zoom out in into internet games video and other categories they have optimized the animation for the start menu as you can see this animation has also been optimized there is a new collection tab from where you can pin applications and pin to collections and it will add up here and you can easily access those applications from there now in the recent tab i don't know how it works there but i have used this uh, form for quite a number of days but nothing shows up here in the release it was written that this works according to the documents that you are going to save so i also edited a few documents and uh, one of them is kept saved in the documents part as a sample doc but whenever i open or edit and save it it does not show up in the recent tab there are a number of changes in the new uh, and new applications that are there in the new applications. For example, the Kylin calculator. I did find the interface of Kylin uh, calculator very interesting because, uh, as you can see, there are several options that you can go to. Like the, you can switch from the standard calculator to the scientific one. You can also switch easily to exchange rates, and the rates are updated in real time, as you can see from here. Also, you can choose which currency to which currency you want to um, change and there are an array of options to choose from. There is a programmer calculator to convert between binary, hexadecimal, decimal and more. So you can also go for that. Uh, another thing in the start menu is that you can easily switch between the different modes by clicking this option that is there. Comes very much handy. The search works quite fast. As you can see, if we just search for the terminal, so it works quite fast. The entire setup has um, a lot of implementation of blur, as you can see, and acrylic design effect. So it makes the system user interface look very much modern. But one more thing that I think um, should have been added is that the terminal could uh, have been made transparent or translucent i did uh, go for the background and change the transparency but it's just making the background transparent and no translucency or blur is there in the background which is um, does not go with the user interface actually uh, some parts of the user interface have the blur some parts don't so it makes a kind of weird change there they have updated other applications under the kylin uh, under kylin for example, one of them is the screenshots utility. So as you click screenshot, you see this one appears and you can easily pick a portion of your screen for the screenshot. Now, there are several options uh, to doodle on your screenshot. As you can see, you get this rectangle. You can change the color. There are lines that you can use for highlighting a note. There are arrows to point at some direction and there are normal brushes that you can use for writing anything as you can see. Any flexible shape. This is a marker paint tool, a kind of highlighter that you can use as you can see. There is this blurring tool which can be used to blur the objects that you don't want them to see. For example, I'm blurring this one and it completely disappears. Now you can just reset the entire canvas by pressing this undo key and you can save or delete whatever you want. So one more thing I forgot to show you guys is that from the screenshot utility you can see there is an option for pinning the screenshot. It is very much similar to the one that we had in Deepin OS. So that is present in this operating system. There are other things that are updated in the notification center. Here you get all these quick actions that are there. It's kind, it looks kind of inspired by Windows 11. It looks very much similar to that of Windows 11. Or you can, that is just uh, hide those 
other options and if you want to see how notifications appear there so if we press the print screen button as you can see the notification appears in the site and it just moves into the notification center so if you click there the two notifications have been merged into one in many cases the animations are quite smooth but in several places i find that the animations are not very much uh, nice just in here as you can see looks kind of confused there are other updates that have been brought up just in the taskbar uh, it has been optimized to start up much earlier and also icons can be moved anywhere now in the taskbar very easily so as you can see you can just draw a drag and drop they have made this uh, folded part from where the taskbar usage has been optimized a lot by this feature they also have this uh, search anywhere feature so if we just go for a document that we have saved you can also search for the document if you want to go for a application for example if you want firefox you can just search for firefox and it doesn't come uh, let us search for any other application like the terminal ah, so it appears there is a recent tab or a task view just like in windows 11 that we find and it has an eerie similarity to that of windows 11 these application now can be moved into a new workspace if you create it there for example if i move this there as you can see it has been moved into a new workspace and if you want i can move it back to the original one and i can remove it from here the opening and closing app animations has been quite optimized since the last time i have used ubuntu kylin this is a really optimized version of ubuntu kylin since the opening of animations opening of uh, files app opening of applications menus etc are so much smoother and much better in this operating system there are also several changes that they have brought up in the control panel so if we go to settings from the start and uh, there is the personalization uh, tab or the button inside that they have added the option to change the theme that is you can change from light to dark theme they have added this option so you can easily change or switch between some icon themes that are pre-installed such as the UK UI, Classic and Hey Yin. So there are several cursor themes to choose from. And finally, you can change the transparency of the theme that you're currently using. The default one that is there. So as you can see, the side becomes transparent. And there is one mode known as the performance mode. Now, if I turn off performance mode, the transparency is turned off. I don't know what kind of mode is this. And when you turn on the performance mode, then the transparency is back technically it should turn off the transparency when the performance mode is toggled on but here the reverse happens they also allow you to change or customize your screensaver now so this is the default one as you can see they will show you this thing you can turn on or off the show rest time or you can completely customize with back change the background you can switch between backgrounds you can change the switching time you can show random uh, text position with bubble text and more so you can now change the user nickname or you can also change the name of the computer that you are using so these are possible now you can change the host name too as you can see here so these new changes have been brought up in the control center they have added the multi file transfer support in the bluetooth um, option now I don't have Bluetooth here. Ubuntu Kylin now uh, has a new feature during the logging part. You can now log in using um, biometric authentication such as your face ID or your fingerprint etc. You can use them to log into Ubuntu Kylin. So let's open system monitor. So there are some application classification that they have put here and uh, you can see the real time CPU usage and the memory and uh, also there is services disks as you can see the usages you can see on the disk 
and uh, CPU usage while recording is quite high. It is around 50 to 60 percent almost sometimes. Peony has got a new large file deletion policy. That is files more than 10 GBs are deleted without uh, backing up in the trash. When you delete a file, it goes to the trash. But if it is more than 10 GBs, then the file is permanently deleted now. There are also several changes in the alarm clock, as you can see in this part. That is, they have added one key mute function. They have added the function of setting an alarm to remind later. So if we just go to the clock, what is it? Alarm? Yeah. So if we go to alarm, I don't know what you guys use alarm for in the desktop because once you switch it off, it will not ring, right? We use alarm mostly on the phone. You just set an alarm. You can choose this option from here. Also, you can, uh, they have added a mini countdown window as you had seen there. Also, they added the function of making the longest and shortest count interval and they have support, I've added the support for right click editing function of the alarm clock icon. They have supported custom ringtones also. They have optimized the editing of the zoomed alarm clock and set the font of the time wheel for countdown. They have optimized the countdown running UI to improve user interaction experience. There are several application and software changes such as in Kylin Weather they have added the judgment of whether to allow positioning. So they have added background colors and adjustments according to that. So let me just go to weather. Now weather doesn't work here. I don't know for what reason. The network just times out. If I click on retry, it loads on for a long time. So uh, I just turn off location and change it still it doesn't work that's why I'm just reading up from here that they have added the background color adjustment function they have optimized the style of the search drop-down box they've optimized the display layout of the main page there is another app that they have changed that is the Kylin burner here is the Kylin burner they have fixed possible uh, bugs when dragging and dropping files into the software they fixed a known memory leak issue inside the software. They have updated the pictures and corresponding. So as you can see, it is seek failed. So updated the uh, pictures and the corresponding explanations in the user manual. I guess it is in the. They are talking about the help part. So let me just click on help. Okay, nothing opens. In Kylin Calculator, they have added the system conversion function. If we go to a folder uh, where we have some pictures, so here are some screenshots. So if you open a screenshot, as you can see, they have changed the user interface. Now you can crop, you can crop it from here, just like this, and you can also save it or not. You can rename the file. You can get the sidebar to see several other files that are there and as you can see you can see some information from here you can rename the file that is here so you can print the file straight from here set the file as the wall desktop wallpaper and more they have uh, also added several features in the kylin recorder they have added audio trimming functions they have supported recording system sound and optimized the menu bar prompt information so uh, if you just want to see the interface of the Kylin recorder let me just show it to you here is the recorder that they have there are no inputs currently so that is a problem I can't record anything from here since I don't have any microphone set up with this desktop I'm recording the audio on my phone and the video on my desktop now the interesting part about the software center is uh, so as you can see most of the things are there in Chinese but this looks so very beautiful and fluent I think it, an international version could have been made com in complete English so let us just search for some application you can also go for full library search from there let's search for 
as you can see the entire things come over here you can search for other apps let's see if we can get spotify no you can't now often there are some third party folks of apps that are not there available for linux which we can get on other app stores so let me just see if we can find them there okay it appears whatsapp is also not there so such files are not there i guess all the official files are there uh, i mean the applications are there which you can go from uh, this get from the store easily so the weather app is open here for no reason it can't do anything there's the update notifi notifier and the global search which has already been covered there are some cool wallpapers which i forgot to mention you can also get wallpapers from uh, the online you can go to the official website where they will have other wallpapers from where you can easily choose and download so that's it guys for this video thank you so much for watching do like share and subscribe i'll catch you in the next one